Hey guys, welcome back to the 2019 AWSI. I'm Crystal with the Kite Meg, and we are here with Adrian at Axis Foils. How's Cheers. it going? Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Great to see the gear. So 2020 launch is happening. Yep. What do you have new and exciting to share with us? I thought I might just start with a little bit of a, um, my ideas about what makes a foil work. Um, just back to basics because I'm I think there's a, a little bit of misinformation about foil uh, around the world and people don't perhaps understand how things work sometimes so this is one of our, our new fuselage and this is our original mask that we came out with about a year or so ago the front wings being strongly attached to the fuselage the fuselage being strongly attached to the mast and the mast being stiff is really really important the head of the fuselage we have a we have a block here that's uh, 62 millimeters wide that fits into a rebate in the back of the wing. When you wobble this side to side, this wing is really rigidly attached to the fuselage. You can't fit any play there. That, that mast there is actually stiffer than any mast on the market. It's radically, radically stiff, but it is 19 mil thick, so you get some drag from that. So what we've done with this year's foil is we have the spigot as a removable item. So you can take that out, and we have another spigot there that's got a it's narrower profile and that fits our new mast and the new mast is 16 mil thick so it's still stiffer than most masts but it is a little bit thinner so is this mast designed more for the kite boiler it's more it's, it's more for, for kite definitely and also for um, the prone surf guys that are not using such massive wingspans they don't need the the, the full-on stiffness of a 19 mil um, plus in addition to that, if you take that out, you end up with a hole that goes 19 millimeters deep in there. And we have a carbon mask that just pops straight into that hole. And you have the same two bolts, actually bolts either set up. So you can have a 19 mil mast, a 16 mil aluminium mast, or a carbon mast. So carbon mast versus aluminium mast, what's... Well, people imagine that carbon is a lot lighter, and they imagine that carbon is a lot stiffer. The advantage of doing a carbon mast is that you can do a composite structure and you can make it whatever shape you want. The aluminium masts are all in extrusion, so they're, they're parallel. You find that all of the bending happens here on the top of the mast where it's attached to the board. So on you know a normal aluminium mast, all of the stress goes to here. So the mast needs to be strong enough so it's stable here, but it doesn't need to be thick and, and solid through there. So with a carbon mast, you can make it tapered, and through the bottom section here, it's only 14.75 mil thick. In the top here, it's it's about 20 mil there, and the plate's built into it. And that's really good wing for uh, dock starts and pumping. Then we get to the 75, and you can see the 75's got a lot more turn down in the tips, and this one is more suited to uh, prone surfing or uh, SUP with a, with a bigger, more powerful wave. Um, and we have a smaller version of that one, which is um, 68 wide. And that one there is what I use for all of my kiting. I don't, I don't actually use the traditional kite size foils. It's a big foil, and I use a very small kite, and, and it's much more carving. We also do um, smaller kite foils. That's a uh, 600 wing and this one actually fits a different fuselage which fits on the seam any of the masts so you can you can ride the 600 wing and fuselage with the 16 mil or the 19 mil or the carbon mast whichever you choose this is a new fuselage for this year and the saddle at the back is designed to work with any of our back wings so we've got a 340 a 370 a 400 a 440 and a 500 span rear wing this is a a windsurfing foil wow. and this has a much longer neck to place the front wing far enough forward um, and this is the 900 wing that we, we actually designed for windsurfing that turns out to be pretty good for surfing downwind and a few other things and this one has a, an anhedral rear wing so the wing turns down in the back and this works particularly well for wind foiling but not very well for surf foiling kite foiling well, hopefully the wind picks up, but luckily you have some massive wings here, so I think it doesn't take much wind. wind. Yeah, doesn't take much. Yeah. Thank okay. You so much. Cheers for that.